Hi, and welcome to another Premier Lawns video. This is a grass cutting vlog. Later on, I will be discussing pricing, so make sure you watch it until the end. My hat looks a little like Naughty. Just call me Naughty the Gardener. So this is a lawn I cut. It's not even mid-February. This has been a really unusual year, Belfast. And it's been so mild and the, the grass has continued to grow the whole way through. I don't usually get out to cut this early, though I'm a great believer in getting the grass cut when it needs it though. As you really, as, as you never really know what lies ahead in the spring. couple of pulls and we're off. For strimming I use an echo trimmer and for the grass cutting there's a Kaz roller and a, and a Tisa Pro 46 push more. I use this for the smaller gardens and then there's a Shawanda black backpack blower for tidying up. There was, a, there was a bit of a daffodil there, so I just quickly strummed around it. So this is one of my first cuts of the year. Um, I've been out all week cutting, but I just decided to do a vlog on, on this video, on, the, on this lawn. So I made these rumps a, a number of years ago, very handy, just nice and light. Perfect for getting the, the mowers in and out. No, no messing about. So this is the Kaz ruler. It's a Kaz lawnmower with a Honda engine on top. So I really love my, my 10, 10, 10 litre metal jerry cans. I know a lot of folks go with a plastic non-spill, but I really don't see the point. Usually, I only put five liters into the jerry cans. It's easier to pour, and, I, and they come with a, an attachment that just fits on, and it, and it works for both of them. So I use a coloring system for my field: red for straight petrol and green for two stroke. Although the video doesn't really show it, there's a fairly heavy dew on the lawn this morning. I have a high lift blade on the uh, CAS and it, and it makes a world of difference. Even if the lawn's wet or if there's a dew or whatever, it fills the box. Uh, I think it's also worth important. It's also worth important keeping in mind that you should keep the grass box clean as well because it really helps with airflow if you want to have a good clean lift. I was originally going to cut the lawn in two halves as it, it's just quicker and it speeds things up. A lot of times in the winter, the, the lawns don't really stripe up that well, so just to speed things up, I'll just cut them in two halves. But as I started to cut, I realized that the lawn was going to get striped up, so I just decided to, to, to stripe it up. So it's a little bit rash at the start, but hey ho. The eagle eye amongst you might have spotted that this isn't a, a Kaz Pro mower. Now there's a very valid reason behind this. I, the, the guy that services my machines and, and fixes my machines works for my industrial estate and he isn't a main dealer. If you go down to the shop between March and October, the mowers are queued around the block. 
it gets really, really busy, and uh, and you can wait weeks to get stuff repaired. Uh, he's he's a type of guy; he's not hard to pay, you know. So, see, everybody uses him. So I bought this machine from him, and at the time he couldn't give me the full version. This, so this is what I use. This is the reason why I buy from him. If the more breaks down, I can bring it down to him and miss the queue. As I'm, as I'm a pro, I need it. I need to know that I'm top of the queue. No waiting. Either it's fixed in the day or it's fixed the following day. Next day, delivering him parts if he doesn't have the parts in stock. It's worth it to me. That just know that if it breaks down, boom, get it fixed. No messing about. So just before I move the mower onto the back garden, I found that if you empty the grass box before you move the mower, you get a lot less mess on the hard surfaces. So like I said, buying the old mower from, from the guy that services my equipment, along with a bit of winter servicing, secures, like next, secures getting the, the, the machine just fixed there and then, no messing about. It's worth sometimes paying a wee bit extra and getting a far better level in service. Sometimes you go to a big main dealer and you buy a machine, but uh, it breaks down, you bring it down, there's 10 other people ahead of you. The stuff's sitting there for a week, two weeks. You're waiting on it getting fixed. You're pulling your hair out. You can't get around your gardens or you're using a spare more. It slows you down and it's just a nightmare. I've found it's just worth paying that wee bit extra sometimes and you get a far better level of service. He's able to make a living. I'm able to make a living. Everybody's happy. So here I am again with my nolly hat. I said I really thought that one through before I, before I started filming my blog. I think the only real difference between this machine and the pro machine is the wheels. Uh, every now and again, I need to realign the wheels as, as they tend to go a bit wonky and, and you can't cut a straight stripe. For pricing a small lawn such as this, I think a fair price is around 20 to 25 pound, and that's with the waste in the customer's brown bin. By the time you drive the job, load and load the van, take your costs out, pay your wages, and then that and then that little thing called profit. If you agree or disagree on this, why not leave a, a comment below, Mo, and we'll, we'll, we can start a, a discussion on it. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give me a wee like or a thumbs up. So if as a left blade, you get a flat box every time, or if there's a dew or if the grass is wet or whatever. So thanks for watching, um, I'll see you in the next video.